didn't allow for us to spend as much time and put as much energy into our relationship. I don't think the love really dispersed. I just think it was just like, we weren't feeding a relationship. Youngsters, you might want to pull up a chair for this one because there are speculations that Jennifer Hudson and Common are about to announce their separation after she declined his marriage proposal. She has made the decision that she is no longer interested in dating him, maybe because she is starting to see the warning indicators that we tried to point out to her when they first started dating. Furthermore, Jennifer has made it quite clear that she has no interest of getting married again after divorcing her abusive ex-husband David Otunga. But Common was shocked by her decision to never get married, therefore he did not take this rejection well at all. Now he's accusing her of being a time waster and a rebound. Since it looked like the two of them were having the time of their life up to this point, many people were startled to hear about this. Before I get into all the graphic details of this story, though, allow me to briefly summarize how we got here. They initially sparked romance rumors in 2022 while working together on the movie Breathe. They were spotted eating dinner together on a few times, and some of the witnesses characterized them as friendly, flirty, and full of cuddles and laughter. Jennifer Hudson first denied the claims of a connection, asserting that people were making things up and making up their own narratives. But then one of her close friends revealed to Radar Online that they were indeed dating. They have a long history of friendship. Things began to get romantic while they were filming in Philadelphia in the summer. After the day's filming was done, they would always manage to go back to each other's sides. The murmurs became even louder when Common flew all the way to London for the world premiere of the Jennifer Hudson starring musical A Strange Loop. A person who spoke with the Daily Mail said that Common and Jennifer have been trying to hide their connection. The fact that they travel to London together makes it very evident that they are serious about one another, even if it has been up for dispute for months whether or not they are dating. They attended the concert apart to prevent any disruption, but even though they were shielded from prying eyes, they were still very much in one other's presence. Though Jennifer was still apprehensive and desired more time to decide if this was the right arrangement for her, it seemed as though Common was prepared to make their relationship public. Until January of this year, when they finally came clean on Jennifer's talk show, they both carried on being goofy. After this interview, they had all but confirmed it. So many people honestly thought they would now start revealing more of their connection to us. But because of Common's complex past connections with other women, some people Siraji P. Henson, Serena Williams, and Arika Badu, among others, thought Jennifer was just making a big mistake. They all led to some very terrible breakups, as one could imagine. But it wasn't until he started dating Angela Ray that we realized just how much of a troublemaker he really was. The fact that Michelle Obama had to sit him down and teach him something so basic at his advanced age is a warning sign in and of itself, kid. Even while learning has its benefits, Angela believed that at this age, she was past playing games and wanted to take Common seriously. But Common had been in a lot of relationships during his life, so he would always sidestep the topic when she tried to bring it up. He clearly had no intention of giving her his whole attention. We only want something different. We had been having conversations about where things might go for about two months, with me leaning more toward wanting children and him toward not knowing whether he wants children. Then I remarked, I don't know what to talk about. The pattern I found myself in and what, what was called love addiction, when my therapist broke it down, was, was like that feeling of being like, oh, I'm in love and, and this that honeymoon period that people call it. I was addicted to that. He played love interests in the movie The Kitchen, and then he cheated on Tiffany Haddish by getting into another relationship. Like Angela, he convinced Tiffany that they would be together forever, but as soon as she started to act serious, he pulled away again. Tiffany called Common out for inventing a mutual breakup while giving him a backhand clap. She said it seemed more like him saying, I think this relationship has run its course, and I thought, okay, so you're going to be a 50-year-old man without a girlfriend or anything? As you can see, Jennifer Hudson was too enamored of Common to see the warning flags, but it seems like she's finally woken up since there are rumors that she turned down his proposal of marriage. His notorious reputation as a player is another reason she's afraid to get married, a source informed Radar Online. She is also still emotionally damaged from her first marriage to her ex-husband. The insider said that once her engagement failed, Jennifer was certain she would never get married, that it was just not in the cards for her. But then Common came into her life and she fell in love at first sight. After her divorce with David, you're going to find it quite difficult to comprehend why she was so certain about never being married again because the man had practically drugged her to the point of no return. In 2009, 
Jennifer and her former spouse David welcomed their first child into the world, following their engagement in 2008. But after almost 10 years of dating him, Jennifer decided to end things because David was groping her. Not only was he physically assaulting her, but he was also making fun of her in front of their child and even tried to con him into thinking that Jennifer was having extramarital affairs when it was actually him. He once went so far as to tell his child to spy on Jennifer and report what he saw her doing during the day because he thought she was cheating on him. Child, talk about a narcissist. As you can see, in addition to his questionable past connections with the women he has been associated with, Common's toxic relationship with David is another reason she is unwilling to wed him. According to stories, Common lost it when she turned down his proposal, and he was enraged with her. He tried, supposedly, to convince her that he was a different person and that he wouldn't treat her the way he had treated everyone else. But Jennifer isn't going to back down. She still thinks marriage is a bad idea. Despite his past relationships with other well-known ladies, Common assures Jen that he is here for the long run. But Jen doesn't want to end up in a disastrous marriage and have to start again because she had the same feelings throughout her nine-year engagement. How interesting that he abandoned all those women? Just because he wasn't prepared to commit. But when he gets down on one knee and asks the person he wants to spend his life with, the answer is always a firm no. Once Tiffany and I got back on the move, it, it really didn't allow for us to spend as much time and put as much energy into our relationship. I don't think the love really dispersed. I just think it was just like, we weren't feeding the relationship. I don't know about the others, but it's a form of karma. As usual, people's thoughts and perspectives vary on this. Like the commenter, I think Jennifer made the right decision. She is now further along in life, having conquered a number of challenges. It seems like Common doesn't stay in relationships for very long. Jennifer would be foolish to risk her accomplishments and happiness for something that might not last long. Jennifer Hudson is conscious that she is on a far higher spiritual plane than Common, according to another comment. Furthermore, karma is real. The markings of a leopard never fade. It's typical to encounter an energy vampire. Jennifer was informed of this well in advance. Warm regards to Jay Hood. However, I would now want to know your thoughts. What do you think of Jennifer declining common? And do you guys think that's going to lead to their final split? Share your opinions in the comment section below and check out our other videos for all the juicy celebrity showdowns you might have missed.